What's going on guys? I'm coming to you today with a discussion about the deadlift. Now this is a movement that is, compared to a lot of other movements, a bit technical in nature. And while I wouldn't say that I'm the foremost authority on the movement, now granted there are guys who are professional power lifters who um, I would consider to be probably the foremost authority on it. Um, there are still some things that I'd like to talk about, uh, some cues that I go over each time I deadlift that help me to get the most out of the lift, as well as um, prevent injury. Each time we perform a movement, regardless of what that movement is, we should be going over a series of mental cues in our minds to ensure that we're not only getting the most out of the movement, but also that we're doing it in a way that's safe and we're protecting ourselves. When it comes to the deadlift, a lot of times people get messed up because really there's a lot of moving parts, right? It's not like um, there's just you know one joint moving, there's multiple joints moving, a lot of things going on, and we need to make sure that everything is working in unison, and we're uh, working with our body and not, not fighting things and not gonna injure ourselves. And uh, obviously we want to do it in a way that we're gonna be able to move maximum weight and induce the greatest amount of stress on the muscles that we're trying to work. When we step out from the rack, it's important to note that your chest should be up and rather than you simply begin to bend over at the waist, you should break at the knees first, squatting into the, almost squatting into the movement. Now, contrary to what most people think, they consider, most people would say a deadlift is a pulling movement. And in some ways, of course, that's correct. But if you're gonna be successful in the movement, the best way to approach it is, if, is as if it's a pressing movement. When we first step out from the rack with the bar in our hands, the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna break at the knees, and as we do so, our butt is gonna come down. It's important to note that the chest should always stay above your butt, right? You should always try to maintain an angle as much as possible. This will increase your leverage in the movement. As we come down with the weight, we're bending our knees and squatting into the movement as much as possible, keeping our chest high. As soon as the plates bump the floor, we're gonna push against the floor with our feet, right? We're not gonna pull with our back, but push with our legs against the floor and drive through, the, through our heels and through our hips, forcing the weight upward. Once we reach the top, we're gonna roll our shoulders back and squeeze everything from our traps to our rhomboids to our lats. So to recap, the five mental cues that I believe you should institute every time you do the movement. Break at the knees, chest high, butt down, push the floor, squeeze your back. Remember, try to make this a pressing movement where you're keeping your chest above your butt, drive with your legs, and really, it's only the top, you know, 20, 30% of the movement where you're gonna actively use your back. The whole rest of the movement is just a static Hold, where we're trying to use our legs as much as possible. Anything more and you're gonna involve your lower back too much, you're gonna end up getting frustrated with the movement, you're gonna hurt yourself and you're gonna say, I'm not doing deadlifts, just like most people in the gym who avoid them. Uh, avoiding deadlifts is not the answer. One of the best movements you could do, not only for muscular development, but also for improving your cardiovascular capacity and actually for calorie burning. If you're somebody who's trying to get in shape, Doing big movements like this are great calorie burners. They help you to get in shape. And uh, doing something like this over time is actually, assuming you're doing it properly, will help your lower back. A lot of people who uh, say they avoid deadlifts because um, they have a bad back. Avoiding the movement over time generally makes things worse. My advice is to do the movement even if you have to do it extremely light, use the bar, use a quarter, use a plate on each side, whatever it is, whatever it takes to get you to do the movement properly. And then once you feel comfortable with it, move up and wait. You don't have to, out of the box, be moving three, four, five plates, you know, just to look like a hero in the gym. Take your time with it, master the movement, it's worth doing. Now, before we begin, you may notice that I'm not wearing any shoes. I'm gonna deadlift in my socks. That is for a reason. Uh, if you're gonna come to the gym wearing some type of sneaker, especially some type of running shoe, um, oftentimes there's a bit of a heel on it and the shoe tapers down and the shoe is gonna be squishy because you know they're made for comfort. They're not gonna be super supportive. Um, you could invest in a pair of weightlifting shoes, I suppose. I don't really see the, the, the need for it. I simply just wear my socks. 
Reason being, it's far more stable. There's nothing that can shift. Um, furthermore, you do bring yourself a tiny bit closer to the ground. <laughs> and what does that mean for a deadlift? It means that the bar doesn't have to travel quite as far um, and you should be able to complete the movement uh, just a tad bit easier. Um, so I do highly recommend deadlifting without shoes on. Uh, I think you'll find over time that if, if you do it this way, it'll be very difficult to go back to wearing sneakers because it is just much more secure, much more stable, and you're gonna find that you're able to do the movement a bit better. Okay, so now to begin. I approach the bar and set up. I take a, a comfortable grip, I step out. My chest is already up high before I begin the movement. And the first thing that is gonna happen is my knees break, right? I'm not gonna simply start to bend over at the waist. Rather, everything that happens right now is gonna take place in my legs. As my knees bend, the bar is gonna trace my legs, clear the knees, my butt drops down, I hit the floor, and I push the floor away. And as I come up in an explosive movement, squeeze my back, right? So, to recap, chest high, Bend at the knees. Keep the chest above the butt, butt drops down, push, and explode up. I push, I don't pull. All right, knees break, sit, push. Knees break, chest high, push the floor, squeeze the back. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not the foremost authority on the deadlift, but these are just some things that have helped me over the years. I really hope you find the video useful. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know below, and um, I hope this helps.